Hello and welcome to Phuket Pulse GED Express Screencast with me, Teacher Marky. Today's lesson focuses on cell components and its functions, still under GED Science under Biology. So during our previous topic, we talked about the characteristic of living things, but we're going to focus now on the cell alone, including the organelles which composes it. Now, at the end of the discussion, every one of you is expected to identify, enumerate, describe, and distinguish the different components of cell involving their function. Now, we begin with the definition of cell. As we all know, that is the smallest living unit, and most of it are microscopic in form. Now, cell types, we have prokaryotic and we have eukaryotic. When we say prokaryotic, that means the, the first cell type on earth is known as prokaryotic cells and these cell types are primarily those with bacteria and archaea. When we say prokaryotic cells, that means they only have one cell or they only have or they don't have a true nucleus. Now, when we say prokaryotic cells, they have no membrane-bound nucleus, like what I've said, and their nucleoid is the region of DNA concentration, and majority of their organelles are not bound by membranes. Now, we proceed with eukaryotic cells. So, majority of animals and plants are eukaryotic. That means the nucleus are bound by membrane, and this includes fundi, protease, plant, and animal cells, and they possess many organelles, which makes up the entirety of that cell. Now, for the animal cell, you see in here the different parts. You have there the free ribosomes, the mitochondrion, the Golgi apparatus, the lysosome, the endoplasmic reticulum, and there are a lot of organelles in that. But I'm going to discuss that on the next slide. We have here the plant cell. The only difference with that of an animal cell is that plant cell has thick cell wall, which protects the cell itself on what goes in and what goes out on the cell. Now, we begin with the first organelle or the first part of the cell, which is a cell membrane. A cell membrane contains cell, co contains cell contents such as a double layer of phospholipids and proteins and it permits what comes in and what comes out of the cell. Now next is the cell wall. Cell wall can only be found in plants, fungi, and many protists but not available on animal cells. And it surrounds the plasma membrane for additional protection. For example, on that photo, the rigid part in there is what we call the cell wall. Now, next we have the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is known as a viscous fluid which contains organelle. This is present on both animal cell and plant cell. Next, we have nucleus. When we say nucleus, that is the control center of cell because it carries the hereditary material, which is the DNA, and it also contains the chromosomes. Now, the nucleus is a double membrane, and like what I've said, it contains both chromosomes and the nucle nucleus, which carries the genetic material. Now, we have here the DNA that is also available on the nucleus, it contains hereditary material and the chromosomes and the necessary protein that is needed for cell division, such as chromatin. Now, another part would be the nucleus. Most cells have two or more nucleus, and it directs synthesis of RNA or ribonucleic acid. This is also necessary for cell division. And I'm going to discuss that on a separate screencast. Now, nucleus is essential because it forms the ribosomes. Now, we have endoplasmic reticulum. 
it helps move substances within cells and it is a network of interconnected membranes now under endoplasmic reticulum we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the soft endoplasmic reticulum when we say rough endoplasmic reticulum there are ribosomes attached in it but if it's moved in the plasmic reticulum there is no ribosomes on it now we have here Golgi apparatus so it is involved in synthesis of plant cell wall and this is used for packaging and shipping station of a cell specifically when carrying RNA now this is available for both animal and plant cell Next, we have lysosome. Lysosome serve as the janitor of the cell because it contains digestive enzymes. So the function of this organelle is that it aid in cell renewal and it break down old cell parts. Aside from that, it also digests invaders inside the cell. Next, we have vacuoles. Vacuoles are membrane-bound storage sacs. These are more common in plants because this is where the water and food is being stored but animals has animal cells also has vacuoles but comparing it to that of the plant cell plant cells vacuole is larger compared to animal cells now next we have here mitochondria or mitochondrion this is the powerhouse of the cell because it breaks down fuel molecules which is necessary for cellular respiration and re it releases energy in the form of ATP also known as adenosine triphosphate now next we have chloroplast this is one of the most essential organelle on plant cells this is derived from photosynthetic bacteria and the solar energy capturing organelle of the plant cell this is where photosynthesis took place now next since you already know the basic parts of an animal and plant cell let's try to answer the following question now first Cell wall functions as A, structure and protection, B, organizes DNA, or C, digest recycles materials, last B, communication junction between adjoining cells. So the answer is precisely that is for structure and protection of plant cell. So in this photo, you can see the cell wall that is in color green. Next question. Chloroplast functions as A. Organizes and moves internal parts of the cell. B. Cell contraction movements and structural support. C. Assembly of subunits of ribosomes. D. Photosynthesis. So the answer is very obvious. That would be photosynthesis. Great. How about this one? Central vacuole is for what? A. Protein synthesis. B modifies, sorts, and shapes lipids for export of for insertion into the cell membrane. C organizes and moves internal parts of the cell. D increases the cell surface area and stores metabolic waste. So what's your answer? The answer is letter D. You're right. That is for the increasing of surface area within the cell and it stores metabolic waste. That is the main function of central vacuole, which is true for plant cell. Next, we have nucleus. The function is A. Digest recycle materials. B. Organizes DNA. C. Structurally supports and gives shape to a cell and moves cell and its components. D. Organizes and moves internal parts of the cell so the answer is letter b it organizes the dna the chromosomes can be found on that specific organelle next ribosomes is a protein synthesis b modifies new polypeptide chains and synthesizes lipids c structurally supports and gives shape to a cell moves cell and its components 
these cell contraction movements and structural support? So the answer would be letter A. That will be for protein synthesis. Ribosomes are the one who synthesizes protein inside the cell. Next, we have Golgi body or Golgi apparatus. So the function is A. Modify source and shape lipids for export of for insertion into the cell membrane. B. ATP formation. C. Photosynthesis. Or D. Communication junction between adjoining cells. What is your answer? Great. That is the answer. It is used to modify, sort, and shape lipids for export of for insertion into the cell membrane. And next, we have lysosome-like vesicle. What is that function? What is their function? Is it A. Organizes and moves internal parts of the cell. B. Photosynthesis. C. Makes lipids, degrades fats and inactive toxins. Or D. Digest recycle materials. The answer is, you're right, that's correct, it's letter D. So it's for digestion and recycling of materials that is no longer being used inside the cell. Now next we have plasma membrane. The function is, is it A, protein synthesis, B, digest recycle materials, C, organize DNA, or D, controls the substance going inside and out of the cell. So the answer is very, very obvious. That would be letter D. Correct. That is the answer. Now, next we have mitochondrion. What is the function? Is it A. Digest recycle materials. B. Organizes DNA. Letter C. Modify source and ship lipids for export or for insertion into the cell membrane. Or letter D. ATP formation. The answer is letter D. Exactly. Because ATP is known as adenosine triphosphate that serve as an energy for the cell. Now, that ends the assessment part. Great job! Next, for the references, you can have an advanced reading using the following text, Reading Essentials for Biology, Glencoe 2017, or Glencoe Biology Macro Hill Education. Now, since you are already here, you might as well subscribe to our channel, click like, and share this video if you find it helpful. And you can connect with us, you can just go to our website at www.phuketpulse.org or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash or if you have questions or inquiries regarding our organization, just contact us directly through line or call 081-417-0978. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next screencast. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.